Hello and welcome once again everyone. The 18th season of Ranked Battles is already up and running and already some spectacular games are coming in. This game features the tier 10 premium Pan EU Destroyer, Smaland, and you can see here on screen the full and complete build used by our good captain in this match. That good captain is none other than Bazinga Flux. So a huge shout out to him and thanks for sharing this very good replay. Baz has been known to stream from time to time, so make sure to go over and check him out on Twitch. His link here can be seen here on screen. A very good player and all round nice guy. So to the Smaland. This is a very powerful ship when played correctly. So there is a lot to be learned from watching a good player fly his trade. And I do include myself in this. Smaland is a ship I've personally struggled to come to terms with. So games like this can give me great encouragement to not only up my game, but to improve as a player myself. Smaland's main battery is one of the most fearsome in the game. This 1.3 second reload gives Smaland some incredible DPM and backed up with 8 torpedoes capable of over 80 knots, Smaland really does have some incredible weapons at its disposal. Captain is radared here, he just falls back. It wasn't the Mino's radar as there was a delay between the Mino actually shooting and that radar. Radar is from the Moskva. Torpedoes are all looking pretty well on target. Up the hits on the Thunderer. One on the Republique. Captain's already up to 50,000 damage and counting. Got his sights on that Mino. Able to use the smoke screen from the Shima. Shima has taken a bit of a battering. Down very low HP. Captain pushes back in, using the cover of that smoke screen. Attempting to get some fires on those battleships. They've both used their damage cons due to those torpedoes. Here's a double fire on the Repu. He's already under incredible pressure. Our captain is once again back in the capture point, attempting to capture. The Mino has smoked up on the far side. Thunder gets detected. Just out of gun range. Is basically one of the only limitations with the Smaland. That the maximum firing range is a little bit limited. Repu burns down to that double fire. Our captain gets his first kill of the game up over 87,000 damage. He is hydroed now by the enemy Minotaur. Still has pretty good island cover here for the moment. The Smaland possesses very nice firing arcs, especially for in enclosed spaces behind islands like this. So these high firing arcs combined with a 9% fire chance makes these guns really quite formidable indeed. Just going to fall back here. There is some secondary fire coming in from the Grosse Cur first. Able to drop detection. If only momentarily, he's detected again briefly. Moskva is still there, bunkered in behind that island. One of the main differences is the ability of Smaland to use radar and he's able to lay down some really withering fire on this enemy Mino. The amount of sheer pen damage on that Mino in literally a couple of seconds. Really quite incredible. 
enemy car first, just pushing out into the open. We did get a fire on that Thunderer. He's got the Grosse Cur first. Now in his sights. Able to fire undetected here. It's a very nice position. Gets a fire on the Cur first. Cur first is already getting to turn out. He sees the writing on the wall. Captain pushes in once again, a little bit closer to the island. Still able to comfortably lob shells. Reliably on target, gets another fire on that car first. Picks up the high caliber award. Literally just a couple of minutes into the game, already high caliber. He's proximity detected by that Minotaur. Got a pretty nice position here though. He is taking some secondary fire from that curve first. Mino is taking fire as well. Picks up the Wither achievement. The number of achievements are already beginning to stack up. Still proximity detecting each other. Mino and the Smaland. Just reversing ever so slightly away. Got his sights on that curve first again. Who has repaired those fires. The amount of DACA from these 120mm guns really is quite fearsome. Sets that car first on fire again. He's got a really dangerous position here. He's able to rain down fire on the enemy team with virtual impunity. And this is not what you want to be enduring as an enemy battleship. The car first is just simply forced to turn away in a desperate attempt to stay alive. He's manoeuvring, doing his best to avoid fire. Just at the edge now. Captain's range. Bino is still proximity detecting him. Attempting to kill the Shima. The Shima still has survived. Bino has turned on his hydro. The Shima finally succumbs to the to the Moskva, and our captain once again has sights on the enemy Mino. And normally, a duel like this with an enemy Mino will end very poorly for a destroyer. But not so in this case. Just set him on fire again. Moskva comes in, he's also quite low. He's the next on the target list. Does take a quite a healthy salvo from the Moskva. But Smaland does have access to the repair party. The vast majority of damage he's been taking so far has all been high explosive. So he's still comfortably over 14 gay HP. Incoming torps. Captain is in virtually the blink of an eye over 215,000 damage. He's picked up three kills, three achievements. First blood, high caliber, the wither, and he's not finished yet. That leaves two enemy destroyers, the gearing and the shimakaze, and the thunderer on the enemy team. Enemy gearing pops up at close range. That is very bad news for the gearing. He just can't match the DPM of the Smaland in this case. And the enemy gearing goes down in his smoke. Enemy Thunder there is behind the island. 
captains once again able to lob shells. Incoming torps. Captain was angled correctly. Able to slip nicely through them. That only leaves the enemy Shima. Out there behind the A cap somewhere. One of the advantages of using RPF on a destroyer. Able to immediately locate the closest target. This 18th season uses an 8v8 format, playing tier 10 ships. There are some slight variations this time around, which include different game modes on particular maps. North, Sea of Fortune and Greece are played in Domination mode, Sleeping Giant and Warrior's Path in Arms Race mode, and Tears of the Desert is played out in Epicenter mode. Rewards for the current season can bring you a grand total of 5,500 steel, over 2,700 doubloons, a rank token, and many other rewards. The enemy Shima was briefly detected there. He smoked up, attempting to fall back. He's now caught in a hopeless situation. His whole team has died around him. And our captain is pushing forward, attempting to secure maybe his Kraken unleashed. Is a pretty rare achievement in ranked. Again, the Shima is caught in the radar. Our captain picks up the Confederate. Again, this blistering fire on the enemy Shima. He's denied his Kraken, but a very nice game nonetheless. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.